Okay, so um, next we're going to talk about tr translucency. To enable translucency for your material, you have to select a color for it here. Uh, in principle, in a translucent material, light hits the material, a portion of it gets diffused on the illuminated side, and another portion travels through the material and gets diffused on the other side of the material. Or in simpler terms, uh, a certain amount of light uh, passes through the material and is seen on the other side. Uh, something to be denoted here that um, uh, for a material to be translucent, it doesn't have to have a diffuse color. So if you you can all, as you see here, you may all only have a translucent color. So you have a color only on the other side. If you want on both sides, you have to set a both a diffuse and translucent color. Uh, a, translucency is great for a wide variety of materials like cloth ba based materials, leaves, grass can be used uh, even in when uh, in combination with absorption as a replacement in some cases for subsurface scattering materials in order to speed up the render times of your scene since uh, subsurface scatter materials are very compute intensive. For us users coming from different rendering programs, uh, translu translucency is viable uh, alternative for, uh, for um, single sheet uh, subsurface scattering materials. However, translucency is more flexible as it can be used for uh, thicker materials. In order to better preview uh, thin translucent materials, you could load up the translucent room preview uh, in the preview panel here, as we've uh, shown in the previous lesson. Hit refresh here, and you will see it. I think to note here that if you want a uniform material, you should set the same or same tone uh, for your diffuse and uh, translucency to have uh, a, a, a one color material, or otherwise, if you set a different one for diffuse and translucency as you see here uh, then from one side would be like green for the other will be white this also can be used in certain situation if you want to to achieve such an effect but usually you have to be careful when choosing i'll show here a render that um, to see that the thickness of the material also plays a role uh, a thicker material late means less light coming in, so you have different effects. So you should consider that when modeling your objects, uh, when used in a single sheet object, translucency very nicely preserves some of the colors of the object behind and gives uh, very believable results. As obje objects get thicker, the color and definition gets lost since less light coming through the material. In our re next uh, render we will see that uh, we will factor uh, absorption into the material and uh, as you can see the material becomes darker because uh, light gets absorbed into it. Also for thin objects the absorption plays a different role than for thicker objects. Uh, <coughs> and uh, you'll see here that the same amount of light comes through but the color and shadow is no longer visible as uh, and for thicker object itself it becomes uh, darker. Uh, we will see absorption in action also when we talk about glassy materials. Uh, also here to note that um, here we have no absorption though, uh, then value of 10 and 100 and then in a 10 centimeter thick object a value of 5 and 50. Moving on, we are going to talk about the N and K values. N uh, otherwise is known as IOR and uh, is uh, <coughs> stands for indif Index of Refraction and is basically the refraction or a bending of light as it travels from one medium to another, let's say from air to water. The N value defines both the strength of the refraction, the amount of bending, and the reflection curve of, on the surface of the material, which produces the Fresnel effect. Uh, the Fresnel effect you can see here is a, a separate tab. 
<coughs> the Fresnel effect basically means that the higher the angle at which you uh, view material, uh, <coughs> the reflection you see will be more. So, for uh, uh, example, in a pool scene, uh, you see the water, and if uh, you see the water in a uh, less uh, of an angle, uh, you see that it's not that much reflective. And when when we increase the angle more and more, uh, the material itself will get more. Uh, you will view it as more reflective until you get to 90 degrees. Uh, which is actually the maximum of what, what we're gonna see because our vision just cannot see more. So it's a different way to show how the Fresnel effect works. So here we are. You will also see here uh, that uh, the option here reflectance 90 that means the color uh, the the reflectance that is seen at the very edge the 90 degree for transparent materials the higher the end the more you will notice that bending the refraction i've loaded here a scene if you visualize how the object is seen through materials with different amount of refraction uh, we go from ND1, this is the refraction of air, which you will see it's not a visible, the object itself, it's not, it's merely visible. So ND of 1.3, that's the refraction of water. As you can see uh, here, the the bar that gets uh, that uh, travels through the material gets bent a little bit, then in 1.5, that's uh, the re refraction of uh, many types of, of glass. It increases more than 1D, 1.8, increases even more, 2.1 and 2.4. As you see gradually how just the angle here that uh, the you see that when the material, the, the bar gets uh, travels through, when it enters, you see a higher higher angle and that's that's basically uh, the what that bending of light means uh, when you enable K or the extinction coefficient the material uh, becomes non-transparent and the higher uh, the K value it will look more reflective and more metallic like uh, you can see how the material changes in the scene here when the K value gets increased uh, even yeah, you have to know that even when it is not zero, it is zero point one. It automatically light gets absorbed into it. In that way, it's similar to absorption. Uh, and as you increase it even more, it will get like uh, if you use a white color, of course, more silver-like or what more uh, reflective and metallic-like. For non-transparent materials, N and K will increase the reflectance of the material. K in particular will give it more metallic look. As uh, you'll see, we increase here the ND, but the K stays the same, and the, the effect uh, in, the, the, in the increase is not that uh, pronounced as we increase the K value. Uh, the K value is the correct value to form a, a, a a good material for uh, a, me a good metallic material. With the basic material using N and K, you could create uh, realistic metals for met and metallic surfaces. And for more uh, precision, uh, you could uh, look up in the internet uh, the precise N and K values of different type of metals that you diffuse uh, color to um, to some to anything that you could want to resemble say not a pure uh, gold but like uh, rose gold which is like 12 carats you could just uh, pick something something uh, like this and then use the the correct refraction 
uh, end coef and extinction coefficient values for for gold, and uh, you will get a more um, realistic and believable look for your uh, material. Another way to uh, to get a really uh, realistic uh, material is when you get to the glossy material and choose an IOR file. This is an index index of ref refraction file, which will get a bunch of uh, values, um, which will get the most most realistic effect, a most accurate representation uh, of the the material. And here you'll see the uh, the materials AG, for example, that's silver, uh, AU is uh, gold, and that's uh, it's uh, you could look it up in the periodic table. The most of them, uh, they are all here. Okay, we will talk more about the IORs when we get to uh, glossy materials. Uh, finally. Uh, what we have here uh, is the trace re uh, reflections, and uh, here it is marked in blue. Uh, this is for the adaptive BSD engine only. Uh, it will not have an effect here, and um, we will cover it in a whole different chapter when we get to uh, to the different engines. So that's for the basic material. Next time we will start talking about the glossy material and its uh, values.